Look at YouTube, family, friends, and survivors. Found a little trick that works good when you're out adjusting the uh, hertz or the frequency on a generator. This generator's consistently given me trouble and I finally figured out what the problem is. It's a brush type alternator head and it has a AVR, an electronic uh, voltage regulator. And the, it would produce power for a little while and then it would quit. And since its motherboard says, hey, I've shut down, it re-engages the starter. Well, it's kind of hard on the starter gear when it's re-engaging and the engine's already running. So I just set it aside so we could fix it. Got the voltage adjusted right and everything was good, but really wasn't confident that I had the Hertz set. It's a new generator that was installed once but never used. So all I had to go by is how it was set up previously. So what I found out that if you put a, a high resistance load, a, a 500 watt incandescent bulb in line with your test meter, it'll filter out a lot of the radio frequency. And the problem is with a brush type alternator head is the, the brushes put out a lot of radio frequency. And that's a lot of little spikes for my non-true RMS meter to try to read. So I found a way where it'll read true RMS by putting an um, incandescent bulb on a long extension cord. A friend of mine, uh, I think Roy Amberg, told me about it. Uh, Try to give credit where credit's due. Put it on a 100-foot extension cord, put a resistive load on it, like an incandescent light bulb, and then measure it way out there. And then you're a long ways away from the radio frequency. So I found out that this thing was about 250 RPM too high. Now, because the RPM had been set too high on the governor, the frequency roll-off feature of the automatic voltage regulator says, hey, I'm not liking the frequency. I'm not into destroying sensitive equipment down line. I'm turning off. So I think I've got it now. <laughs> I know it's at least 250 RPM lower because it's just, it's absolutely amazing how much quieter it is. And I tested it with this. I'm not sure exactly what the engine RPM is. I think it's 3200 on this model, but the generator head's supposed to be 36. So we pegged it right exactly 36. And I've got the voltage set just a little bit high. And I'll switch it to frequency. So I'm 59 under load, 60, 59, 60 right in there. Don't have a lot of load on it, but I did put a, a 15 amp motor on it, my cutoff saw, and the governor kept up just fine. So by having it on an extension cord plugged into a cord that's got an incandescent light bulb and I'm able to read the Hertz. If I uh, try to see what the cycles or the Hertz are right here at this source, it's reading over 400. So this, this trick works pretty good. Now I'm confident I can go ahead and put this generator in service. It's sure a whole lot quieter and it hasn't even hicked up, hick up once since I took about 250 RPM off the governor. It's a lot more pleasant to be around now too. It's a lot quieter. All right, hope that helps somebody. Have a blessed day.